New York, mm. city of a million stories. And a true half haven't happened yet. Statues. Uh huh, yeah. So, Angels of Manhattan. Living statues. 7 5. Which means, obviously, weeping angels. There's a, a new popular so, game that's. Will you take the case, Mr. Garner? Sure, why not? Because you don't believe me. For $25 a day plus expenses, I'll believe any damn thing you like. But you don't believe that statues that's move. That's not very much money. I mean, maybe. And they might. Right, they can't. Of course they can. And you have one in your office right freaking there. Now, see, okay. When you're looking. The game, Lethal Company, that, that's become extremely popular. And there's, I think it's a mod? I don't know. I haven't played it myself yet. And I'm not sure if it's a mod or not. But um, there are weeping angels in the game. Which is also really interesting and really terrifying. And there's, of course, like the, the whole weeping angel idea as well. That isn't necessarily limited to weeping angels. Suddenly no one was looking. That, that that thing has been there for probably like the last 4,500 years and suddenly no one was looking so it moved. I asked him why. Okay, anyway, before the shit goes on and and, and and whatever. That has weeping angels in it and, and, and the uh, the weeping angel idea as well with, with the creature called Coilhead. I'm curious now, slight tangent, uh, on uh, where the whole idea of the weeping angels and, and, and how they how they work they only move when you, when they're not being looked at came from because it is an interesting concept and the other thing i want to get into with this is the weeping angels died they were wiped from existence in season six now i guess how they came back is because at the end of season six everything kind of came back anyway right because everything was wiped from time from from existence right so amy probably brought them back also along with everything else right that that's probably how how that would go but it's kind of sad himself imagine grail was the statue of liberty being the biggest weeping angel the weeping angel I god or something <laughs> Oh, hello, weeping angel. Oh, hi. She's staring at the statue all the time. Oh, multiple people are. Why? Why are they always there? People know things. They must, right? So suddenly the, the four people that have been staring at that statue for the last who knows how long, suddenly someone stopped looking at it for half a second so that it took its hands away. Oh nice, there's another one at the end of this hall too. Hello? Anyone home? Yes. The angel. Blocking the exit. <clears throat> Well, we know what the angels do. Send you back in time and everything, which means that uh, that probably happened to him, didn't it? Him. They're coming for you. They're going to send you back. Who's come? Back where? In time. Back in time. I'm you. I'm you. Oh. Hello. Hello. And now it's too late for you, ain't it? Oh. So what was the whole point? What what was he supposed to investigate? And why? Did someone set him up? This is not your really reading it. You're joking. You gotta be kidding me. So can I just ask, how the fuck was one that big not being seen by anyone or anything long enough to do anything? I, I feel I feel like the logic there went poof, vanished from existence. That would make no sense. Okay, lipstick. Combat ready. What the fuck is he reading? Anyway, another question. Is it only humans looking at it that looking at them that that prevent them from looking? Or is it any living being? Because I feel like there's enough bugs who can see things, enough birds and whatnot else, that it should be pretty much almost fucking impossible for a single one of them ever anywhere to be able to move. If it counts animals. But of course that doesn't make a very interesting story now, does it?
and we won't be able to have these episodes. My lipstick was combat ready, and I was packing cleavage that could fell an ox at 20 feet. Doctor, you're doing it again. I'm reading! Out loud. Please could you not? There's something different about you, isn't there? What's the book? Melanie Malone, private detective in Old Town, New York. She's got ice on her lips and a, a vulnerable kiss in her side. She keeps her heart well hidden. Oh, you read it? You read it. Then when Yowza! I just like the cover. Ooh. Can we see the cover? No. Your hair. Oh, shut up. It's the glasses. I don't like mm -hmm. when they make your eyes look all lining. What the hell is no, that Actually, sorry. They're fine. Okay. Who wants more coffee? Me too. I'll go. Sorry. No, I noticed them earlier. Didn't notice them. I specifically remember not noticing them. You're welcome among fire pit centurion. Interesting. Oh, company. I'll get a babysitter. Oh. Dude, it is so humiliating. Coffee. coffee. Weirdos. Read to me. I thought you didn't like. Shut up and read me a story. Just don't go yowza. <laughs> ah, Why did you do that? Oh, I always rip out the last page of a book. Why? It doesn't have to end. I hate endings. But you just. As I cross the street, change the end. I saw the thing guy, but he didn't see me. Rory's gonna walk past one of the weeping angels and somehow just at that moment that he's walking by It's gonna not be seen by anyone or any other living thing anywhere at all somehow There's baby ones. How is it not being fucking seen? You're joking This is ridiculous. I followed the skinny guy for two more blocks to ask exactly what he was doing. He looked scared. I gave him my best smile, bluest eyes. Beware the yoza. Do not, at this point, yo. Doctor, what did this skinny guy say? He said, I just went to get coffees for the doctor and Amy. Hello, River. No, oh, for fricks, hey, I knew it was going to be about this, but like... How the hell did I get here? I Still. I not the idea, but you'll probably want to put your hands up. Melody Malone. Your Melody! He went to get coffee and turned up in a book. How does that work? I yes, know. exactly. Where did you get this book? It was in my jacket. How does it well, get Well, of course. Given up asking date. April 3rd, 1938. Weird. That is so weird. You didn't come here in the TARDIS, obviously. Why? You couldn't have. What did she mean? Full of time distortions, like trying to land a plane mm. in a blizzard. Even I couldn't do it. <laughs> Even who couldn't do it? Don't you two fall out. She's only in a book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. She did warn you about the time fluctuations. Oh, temporal distortion detected. Great. Oh, there's a lot of smoke in there. That's not good. We just bounced off it. How did you get here? Vortex manipulator. Of course. Less bulky than a TARDIS. You? Sure. Well, you, sh you should know. The weeping angels. They must. It makes sense. They got you back in time. Let you live to death. Well, we've got a time machine. We can just go and get him. Well, you Troy just tried that. Noticed, and we are back where we started in 2012. We didn't start in a graveyard. What are we doing here? That I probably causally linked somehow. Doesn't matter. We're going to get there somehow. We're in the rest of the book. Page 43. You're going to break something. I'm what? Why do you have to break mine? I asked the doctor. He frowned and said, because Amy read it in a book and now I have no choice. Stop. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, you can't do that. Just the stuff that's happening now in parallel with us. But it could help us find Rory. And if you read ahead and find that Rory dies. Oh, hmm. Once we know what's coming, it's fixed. I'm going to break something. No choice now. Time can be rewritten. Not once you've read it. Oh, come on. Once we know what's coming, it's written in stone. My ass. And let me remember. Oh, shut the fuck up. Don't you. Don't you dare. Ah, uh -uh. bullshit. Bullshit. That one. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe not necessarily bullshit, but that does it didn't show a date on there, did it? So that might be his grave, sure, but that doesn't necessarily mean he died. It's fine. That's probably just where he ends up getting buried. But like how and why? I don't really know. Maybe it, whatever. Let's just keep going. Enough speculating crap. Are you an archaeologist? Standing a plane in a tunnel by me blizzard. I could push through. If I'm out by a nanosecond, the engines will phase and I'll shatter the planet. I need landing lights signal to lock onto. Shatter what did the you planet. say? Early what dynasty? Early chin. Well in four. And you're very afraid. That's an awful lot of locks for one door. River, I'm translating. It's a gift to the TARDIS. It hangs around. This one. Put him somewhere uncomfortable. <sighs> With the babies, sir? Yes. Give him to the babies. What the fuck? Uh, 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 uh. The lights are out. You last longer with these. What do you care? It's funny. Psycho? Ah, hello. Yes. Yeah. 
Special permission from the Emperor. Honey, Rapture of Summer. Rapture of Summer. Yeah. Hi yeah. Special permission from the Emperor. Hello, sweetie. Crime boss with a collecting fetish. Whatever you don't want anyone else to see has got to be your favorite. Mm, or possibly indeed. your girlfriend. Ah, holy shit. Why is it fucked up slightly? Uh, girlfriend then. What are you doing? Texting a boy. <laughs> hey, Alza. There's your landing lights, your signal, and the thingamajig. Locking on. That's strange. People don't seem to notice. It never moves while you're looking. Oh, I know how they work. The detective investigates angels. And a lot more. Badly damaged. I want Why? to know if it could feel pain. You realize it's screaming. The others can hear. Oh. Is that why you need all the locks? Okay, Angel, but why are you attacking River right now, hmm? Quickly. If River's pissed off that he's attacking the Angel, why is the Angel attacking her? They are intelligent beings. Mm. The angels are predators, deadly. What do you want with them? I'm a collector. What collector could resist these? I'm only human. Mm. That's exactly what they're thinking. What's happening? Earthquake! Oh, the doctor. I mean, it's basically an earthquake. Bad boy, you could burn New York. What does that mean? Funny. Well, just you wait till my husband gets home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that. Final checks. Since when? Oh, good, right. Yeah, obviously. Although that mirror does not look great. What? Rolls Royce Motors. Okay, I don't understand the significance, but okay. Rory? Down below. Rory? Down there. Oh, who is this? Sorry I'm late, honey. Traffic was hell. <laughs> Shock. Only? No. You'll be fine. Not if I can get loose. That's prison. Oh, I was pardoned ages ago, and it's Professor Song to you. Hmm. Pardoned. Turns out the person I killed never existed in the first place. Apparently, there's no record of him. It's almost as if someone's gone around deleting himself from every database in the universe. Hmm. You said I got too big. And now no one's ever heard of you. Interesting. You used to be somebody. Weren't you the woman who killed the doctor? Doctor who? She's holding you very tight. Of course we knew it was him. send me back in time. Well, I doubt she's strong enough. I need a hand back. So which is it going to be? You're going to break my wrist or hers? <laughs> no. Really? Why do you have to break mine? Because Amy read it in a book. Now I have no choice. <laughs> oh, God. What book? Your book. Which you haven't written yet. We can't read. I see. I don't like the cover much. But if River is going to write that book, she'd make it useful. But well, we can't read ahead. It's too dangerous. I know, but there must be something we can look at. What? Preview. Spoiler free. Chapter titles. There you go. I'm just going to guy call, call the doctor. Give me. Doctor? What's wrong? Tell me. Why is he reading? Okay. You read ahead. I know that face. Calm down. Uh, Calm down. Oh my god. Get your wrist out. You get your wrist out without breaking it. How? I don't know. Just do it. Change the future. Mm -hmm. I understand him being pissed, but also he needs to not be stupid. Maybe angels. Where is he? Did they take him? Yes, I think so, yes. Keep chasing him back in time and they keep pulling him further back. He isn't back in time. I'm reading a displacement. How did she get out? He's been moved in space, not in time, that far from here. You got out. How did she get out? He's at the fucking hotel. Of course. Come on, come on, come on. Where is he? If it was that easy, I'd get you to do it. Ow. Emotional damage! Did you get your wrist out without break? You asked, I did. Problem? You just yes. changed the future. I wanna it's know. It's called marriage, honey. Now hush, I'm working. The doctor did break something when they landed. He broke one of the pots. He broke something that was already fulfilled. There you go. The future wasn't changed. It just said something and he got all. There's a car out front. Should we steal it? Show me. Oh, yes. Ow. What? 
What happened? Did she break her wrist? Uh, both units go to zero. That's when we've got a lock, okay? Why did you lie to me? When one's in love with an ageless god who insists on the face of a 12-year-old, one does one's best to hide the damage. Must hurt. Yes. Yes. The wrist is pretty bad, too. No. See, shall we? <laughs> that was a stupid waste of regeneration energy. Nothing is gained by you being a sentimental idiot. With her. Oh, you embarrass me. With her. Oh my god. Stick to the science part. You know why did you lie? Because she fucking loves never him. Let him see the damage. And never ever let him see you age. He doesn't like endings. Well, got it. Winter key. That actually got really extremely depressing, and then just like we're past it. What's the angel gonna do with the TARDIS? Can they get into the TARDIS? No, but this bastard is there, and the door is open. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, there's even more children ones. Interesting. Was his name also on there? Why not zap him back in time like they normally do? When we know what this place is. Winter Key. Key? I would have called it Quay. Rory. Amy. This place is a trap, though. Look at this. Yeah. Why is it smiling? Amy. Rory. Get out of here. Don't look at anything. Don't touch. Who's that? Amy. Amy. That's Rory. Please. Oh, no. No, this isn't how this is going to end. No. Nope. So what the hell do they do? Every every time the person tries to leave, they just send them back right here, right? What is going on? I'm sorry, Rory, but you just died. Place is policed by angels every time you. There we go. Displacing someone back in time creates time energy. That is what the angels feed on. But normally, if a hit and run, this place is a farm. How many angels in New York? It's like they've taken over every statue in the city. The angels they take, take over. They what was that? I don't know. Well, if they've but taken over every you. statue. What is physically going to happen? They'll zap you back in time. The rest of your life in that room, die in that bed. Will Amy be there? No. How do you know? Because he was so pleased to see you again. If I just run. No. Well, you've just witnessed your own future. Doctor, he's right. No, he isn't. If Rory got out, it would create a paradox. This is what true. Is the paradox poisons the well. It could kill them all. This whole place would literally unhappen. Almost impossible. What do you mean almost? almost. almost. But to create a paradox I mean, you've done this kind of like things. That takes almost unimaginable power. What the TARDIS, obviously. Hello. And love, I guess. I won't let them take him. It's getting closer. You have to deal with Even the boss. You'd have to keep running for the rest of your life, chasing you forever. I get started. <sighs> Husband. Well. Run. Husband. <laughs> I'm not sure this can work. Husband, shut up. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. Any ideas? What else are you gonna do, honestly? Oh, hello. Paris, I always wanted to visit the Statue of Liberty. Oh, well, now it's visiting you. Oh, haha, <laughs> funny. Yes. What? What is it? What? Just keep your eyes on that. Is there a way down? Yeah. Uh, no. Well, way yes. Out. What are you doing? Oh, don't be stupid. Don't... Rory. Rory, you'll die. Yeah, by same building on the same night. Who else could do that? Come down, please. This is the right thing to do. I die now. Paradox, right? The paradox killed the angels. Tell me I'm wrong. Please, because I'm really scared. Does the paradox... The one time you can't manage it. ...keep you alive? <laughs> Work. This will kill the angels. Kill you too. Will it? River said that this place would be erased from time. Never existed. This, this place never existed. What did I fall off? I think you'll just come back to life. When don't I? Rory. <laughs> I mean, this is true. He has Nine come back. Days downstairs, never seen life. You again. If you love me, trust me and push. I can't. You have to. Could you? No. To save you, I could do anything. It's really strange way to go about this, isn't it? Oh, they're gonna go together. Because of course. Or is something else gonna happen? No, I can't take you too. You said we'd come back to life. Money where your mouth is tied. Amy, Shut. please. Together or not at all. I really kinda hope not, because what I just don't wanna see that. Changing the future is called marriage. Jesus Christ.
Well, a paradox has been created. So the tombstone. Oh. Oh. You collapsed the timeline. The paradox worked. We all ping back where we belong. There we go. This happened last time. Why are we here? Does it matter? I can't ever take the TARDIS back there. The timelines are too scrambled. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I could have lost you both. No. Don't ever do that again. Almost lost you both. What did we do? He doesn't remember? We solved the problem. Oh. I was talking to myself. Okay. I got it. <laughs> Hello. You can do with a repaint. Uh -huh. I've been busy. Does the valve on top need changing? Just changed it. Rory and Amy Doctor, next time can we just go to the pub? Right well, now. I mean, uh, the last time you guys just wanted to get coffee. Right, family outing then. Amy, um, gravestone here for someone with the same name as me. What? Doctor! Ah. Where the hell did that come from? A survivor. Very weak, but keep your eyes on it. Where's Rory? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Amelia. So sorry. No, I'm just going to get him in the TARDIS. One more paradox. Would rip New York apart. Well, that's not true. I don't believe you. Mother, it's true. Fuck that! What are you doing? There's room for one more name, isn't there? What are you talking about? Back away from the angel. We'll figure something out. Would it send me back to the same time to him? I don't know. Nobody knows. But it's my best shot, yeah? No! Doctor, shut up! Yes, yes, it is! Amy, <laughs> just have to blink, right? No! It'll be fine. I'll be with him. Me and Rory together. That is their final goodbye. There you go. Family. Her final goodbye, I should say. Stop it! Just, just stop it! Look after him, and you be a good girl, and you look after him. You are creating fixed time. I will never be able to see you again. Should be with Rory. Come on, Pom, please. Rockety man. Goodbye. No. Oh, that actually fucking sucks. God. But at least they are together. That's the more important thing. <laughs> they were your parents. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't even think. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. What matters is this, Doctor. Don't travel alone. Travel with me then. Whenever and wherever you want. But not all the time. One psychopath per TARDIS, don't you think? <laughs> this book I've got to write, Melody Malone. I presume I send it to Amy to get it published? Yes. I'll tell her to write an afterword. For you. Yeah, look at the fucking last page, bucko. Maybe you'll listen to her. The last page. The last page. <sighs> Hello, old friend. Huh? And here we are, on the last page. By the time you read these words, Rory and I will be long gone. So know that we lived well, and we're very happy. And above all else, know that we will love you, always. We worry about you, though. Once we're gone, you won't be coming back here for a while. Probably. And you might be alone, which you should never be. Mm-hmm. We've seen what happens. And do one more thing for me. There's a little girl waiting in a garden. She's going to wait a long while. Go to her. Tell her a story. Tell her she'll mm. go to sea and fight pirates. She'll fall in love with a man who'll wait 2,000 years to keep her safe. Tell her she'll give hope to the greatest painter who ever lived and save a whale in outer space. This is the story of Amelia Pond. And this is how it ends. Hmm. I think that's actually a good ending for that. Oh, fucking hell, though. God. It sucks. The way that happens. Happened. Jesus. I'm glad I finished watching both of these in one go, because even though it's going to take me longer to edit, probably, and whatever, I feel like it finally actually ended. Fucking hell. <laughs> you know, really, the, the sad thing about it isn't that they died because they didn't they didn't die i mean they died but they didn't they weren't killed right they they lived their lives and they lived their lives together it just sucks that i guess that's how it happened it makes me wonder now what is what what would what would rory's dad say and think about this now right because they didn't die they weren't killed they're safe and they live together just back in time It still feels slightly bullshit to me because Amy was facing that direction. So, you know, technically speaking, based on the rules of how they work, it shouldn't have been able to take Rory. That's how I feel about it. So it feels almost like a, a cop-out 
of a goodbye and a cop out of an end to their story and them with the doctor in some ways i'm not happy about it <laughs> i'm not happy about it but i suppose at the same time it is goodbye and their story is over now so it's finally kind of come to an end i just really do think it should have it would have been a much better ending if they could have like properly said goodbye both of them just properly say goodbye and live the life that they had built for themselves prior to this right Fuck. but regardless that's that i suppose thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you again very soon bye bye god bless keep calm and drag on